Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, a.k.a. Steve, and welcome to this rant about social media. I have a lot on my mind about social media in general that I want to talk about. But first, I want to get a little disclaimer. I understand I'm about to give myself a giant catch-22 of you can't complain about social media while using a social platform complaining about it because then you're just, you're just as bad as a guy. I get that shit, okay? I get that. Nonetheless, here we are. My problem, I think my biggest problem with social media, well, the, the biggest pro of social media is that it connects everybody all over the world. The biggest con about social media is that it connects everybody all over the world. Now, a lot of people say things like, man, kids these days are just so stupid. Back in my, back in my day, you ate mud out of the ground and called it a fucking mud pie. All right, Dolores, I don't want to fucking hear about how back in your day, kids were so much smarter. All right, I don't want to hear, that. I don't want to hear about that at all, okay? So, but I think that it's not that kids nowadays are dumber. It's that now we have more access to witness the inherent stupidity of kids. Everyone's got a Snapchat or they post videos themselves trying to do a kickflip off of a 31-story building. Or everyone's got tweets where they write some stupid hot take because they're 14 and don't understand that racism isn't funny. Okay, and then they get retweeted 44,000 times and they link their SoundCloud because they think that they're going to become a rapper. It's just not going to happen. But they, what, that didn't happen back in the day. I bet you if you gave social media to kids in the 1870s, you know, you'll have a, you'll have a Snapchat of, you know, I don't know, Jebediah playing that game where he hits the fucking... The, the 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 hoop with a stick and he's hitting it with the stick and it, it, it rolls. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The game, you know, everyone's read about that. Was it in Johnny Tremaine or something like that? Where you know, the game where you like it's like stick hoop or some shit like that. It's probably a Snapchat of some kid hitting that hoop with a stick in the road and getting hit by a fucking horse-drawn carriage. Okay, we don't get to see that because there's not everybody being connected all the time. But my biggest problem, I think, with social media is that it gives everybody a platform to voice their opinions, and because of that, everybody thinks that their platform gives their opinions weight. I, again, I, I back to two minutes and you know, 14 seconds ago, I get it. I am using my platform with uh, the same amount of uh, perceived weight that I am exactly uh, getting on everyone else for, but that's not the point. That it, it's not. That's not what's happening here. All right, I, I promise you, it's not. Or maybe it is. I don't give a shit. Maybe it is. Fuck it. Whatever. Who cares? I don't give a fuck. The point is, everyone thinks because they have a voice and they have a place to distribute that voice that their voice matters. Okay, none of us matter. Nothing that we do matters. Five billion years from now. The universe is going to get it into its heat death, and everything we've ever done will be destroyed and erased. It doesn't matter what we do. Furthermore, it doesn't matter what a, a fucking 21-year-old philosophy minor with 118 friends puts on Facebook about abortion. All right, Dylan? No one cares what your thoughts are on abortion. And furthermore, no one cares what you think of people who don't agree with you. Just because you have an opinion and a place to post that opinion does not mean what you're saying is fact. Just because you feel strongly about something and have a way to show people and get that message out to people does not mean what you're saying is fact. Also, just because what you're saying may be fact does not mean you can be an asshole about it to, to people who don't know that. There is, a, there is a, a distinct difference between ignorance and stupidity, and I wish people knew that. There is nothing wrong with being inherently ignorant about something on two, or if two things are true. If A, you've never been broached on a certain subject, it is okay to be ignorant about that subject because it's, you've never heard about it before. You're not stupid, you just you just never had the chance to learn that before. And two, if you want to speak about something that you were previously ignorant about, you should definitely, and I mean definitely, be okay with being wrong. No one on social media can be wrong. Everyone's got to be right, and then they double down on their rightness. But it's also a problem because there's an. It? I oh my god, I'm, there's so many fucking avenues I'm going now. Let me let me backtrack a bit. If you're gonna be ignorant about something and you want to speak about it, you better learn. You, you, you better first acknowledge the fact that you don't know anything about it because you're ignorant. And two, you better uh, have a desire and a uh, put an effort to learn about this thing that you want to speak about, or else you're just like a fucking idiot. 
Okay? They're, they're, it goes back to like an old quote. Oh, that is awesome. It goes back to an old quote that I once... Uh, you know what? I I forgot where I read this. I, I think I read it uh, maybe on Reddit. I'm not sure. But somebody said, if you want to learn something on the internet, don't post a question. Post something that you know is incorrect because people come out of the woodwork and correct you. Okay? That is the same kind of thing with like ignorance versus stupidity. If you're just dumb on the internet, right? People will correct you. And that's another problem with social media. You can post some fucking, you can post, I don't know, I, I, off the top of my head. You can post something like, oh my god, I can't believe that Belgium stopped France invading in World War II. And someone will go, no you fucking dumb sack of shit. France didn't, walk right through Belgium, not once in World War I, but twice again in World War II. But the problem is, due to the anonymity that a lot of uh, the internet has nowadays, but with social media, you're trying to get rid of that by making us post our full names. Facebook especially, no anonymity. But a lot of anonymity uh, just makes people inherently assholes, I guess. And because people have a platform for it, they're going to be assholes. Because being an asshole on social media gets you likes and retweets and favorites and all that stuff. And I don't, it doesn't make any sense! All it does is encourage people to be dicks to each other. Okay? And, and then all it does, because of the culture of being dicks, is perpetuated on social media. If you are right about something, you don't need to be a dick about it! You can be right and not be a dick. Okay, you can be right about something and not a douchebag about it. Did you know that? Because a lot of people, they don't know that. They all, you, you get people all the time posting their hot takes about, uh, I don't know, politically charged issues right now like abortion and, and transgender rights and they may think they're right about something and they'll just be an absolute dick about it. My fucking least favorite sentence in the face of the planet is who science doesn't care about your feelings. Your parents don't care about you, Joshua! Shut the fuck up! No one gives a shit. It's 11.45 at night. No one cares you're going to Taco Bell. Get a fucking job. Stop leeching off your parents. You're 24. Move out of the house. Their basement's not a bachelor pad. I had 18 kills with the incendiary shotgun, so that was pretty cool. Big fan of that. I'll see you guys next time. I just had to get that. You know what? I feel a little better. I didn't get didn't say as much as I wanted to, but maybe next time we'll revisit this and get a little, go a little farther. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.